Ladies and gentlemen, I am very pleased to be joining you on World Oceans Day, albeit uh, in the disembodied form of this video message. Now, I'm told you have a wonderful evening ahead of you, and I do hope that through coming together, you will be further inspired to tackle the very considerable pressures facing oceans and coasts across the globe. From overfishing to marine plastic debris and from progressive acidification of seas to habitat destruction, the challenges we must address in order to secure the natural capital that provides the basis of our global blue economy are both wide-ranging and fundamental. But while we have an ever stronger uh, body of evidence to highlight the pressing nature of these questions, it seems to me that we must also continue to win hearts as well as minds. And nowhere is it more important to do this than within those communities whose very future prosperity is inextricably linked with the viability of our oceans and seas. Many of these communities live within the Commonwealth. Over half uh, of Commonwealth countries are island states, for example. And together, Commonwealth countries have around half of the world's economic exclusion zones within their jurisdiction. This is why I'm so delighted this evening to launch a new photography competition across Commonwealth countries. Good pictures can tell stories in ways that words sometimes cannot. And it is my sincere hope that by inviting people to submit their finest photographs, depicting uh, not only the dazzling beauty of the ocean, but, but also the nature of our relationship with it, we might deepen efforts to ensure a more secure and sustainable future than might otherwise be the case. Now, I am especially hopeful to see participation from young people as their future, particularly those from uh, island nations and coastal states, will be principally determined by the fate of the oceans. The world needs to hear their stories and perhaps by seeing their perspective in pictures, uh, those with the means to act are more likely to do so. The details of the competition are being released this evening and I do hope that many of you will consider supporting it. It is certainly the case that when it comes to the future health of the world's oceans, we have very good reason to be deeply concerned. At the same time, however, we know that the solutions are at hand, if only, if only we could muster the inspiration to adopt them. I can only hope you find this evening a source of optimism and take from it a firm grasp of the kinds of steps that science is ever more confident that we must take.